Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. Um, today I'm going to show you a basic flip cup acrylic pour. So this is the fourth in my series called Getting Started with Acrylic Pouring. And so far we've talked about the supplies you'll need, um, how to set up your workspace, and I showed you how to mix, or how I mix my paints. And so if you haven't seen those videos, um, please check them out. I will put links to them all down in the descriptions below, and you can check those out. And, um, and if you'd like to see more of my videos, um, please hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified when I post a new video, hit the little bell and you will get a notification. So um, there are several different techniques for um, when it comes to acrylic pour painting. And um, maybe you've heard of some of these. There's the tree ring, there's the balloon smash, which is super fun. Um, there's something called the ribbon pour. Uh, let's see what else. Um, there's a flip and drag, but by and large, my favorite is the one I started with, which is just the flip cup. And when I first heard about flip cup, I thought, it sounds like a college drinking game. I'm in. <laughs> So anyway, I researched it and found out what it really is about. And so, yeah, so today that's what I'm going to show you is um, just a basic flip cup. So let me pause you and I'll be right back. We'll get set up. Okay, so here is my setup. Um, got my, just a tiny little 8x10 um, canvas. I've got my paints pre-mixed here. And I've got my cup that I'm going to flip. This is a 16 ounce cup, so I'm not going to fill this all the way, probably about half the way, because this is a very small canvas and you probably need eight ounces of paint at the max. So um, all my paints today, with the exception of Mars Black, um, are Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Paint, and the Mars Black is a Liquitex Basics. And as usual, all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol, no water, no silicone. And um, I, I've pre-mixed them, obviously. I'm just going to throw it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was going to tell you what colors I'm using. I've got the black. I've got Martin Mars black. I've got just um, basic blue, which is, again, all of the others are Artist Loft Full Acrylics. I like to shake my paints up pretty good before I dump them in my cup because I like bubbles in my cup. I've got a red, did I say yellow? I can see already I've got way too much paint. <laughs> and I also have a lot of black paint. So let's add some white here and see if we can lighten this guy up a little bit. I'm gonna show you real quick my cup. You can see there are some bubbles forming in there, which is awesome, but I want some more. I'm gonna add some yellow. I didn't go in any particular order here. I just started dumping them. Sometimes I might go a darker shade to light, but today I just, I'm being random. And I also like to pre-coat my canvas, and I typically use a gray, again, Artist Loft Flow Acrylics, and it's gray. And I think that that helps the paint flow a little better. So nothing fancy, I just dumped it on there, you can see, and I'm using my gloved hand to spread it about. Try to get the edges and whatnot here. And I like to let my paint sort of sit in the cup a little bit before I flip it. So that's why I filled it up, and now I'm uh, letting it sit while I cover this canvas up. If you watched my setup video, you'll know that I already made sure that this canvas was level. So I'm starting to level canvas. Ooh, look what's happening in there. The red sort of came out of the bottom. That's exciting. And it looks like some green is showing up. Of course, most of these, um, I obviously I used um, primary colors, so we're going to get a nice little mix of, of colors in there. All right, so. Traditional flip cup involves picking up your canvas, turning it upside down on the cup, holding it firmly, and flipping. There you go. 
and gently set it back down. Hopefully it's still level. I really have no way of telling, but you know, it's part of the fun. I'm going to let that sit there for just a little bit. I can see, maybe you can too, there's a lot of red showing up over here. We've got some green on this side. Of course, the black is dominating the bottom, so I'm kind of worried about that. This could be a darker painting, but it is what it is. And my favorite thing about the flip cup, actually about acrylic painting, acrylic core painting in general, is the surprise you get. You mix your paints together and you hopefully picked out a decent color scheme, but after you, once you get it on your canvas, it's a surprise. You don't necessarily know what you're going to get, and that's the best part for me. I love that. All right, so this is sat here a bit. I can see I've got way too much paint for this small little canvas. That's okay. I'm going to catch the drippings down below, and I'll do something with those later. I like to sort of create a, uh, a suction with a cup onto the canvas. I feel like that, <clears throat> excuse me, that creates a little bit of, um, that, that'll, that will create some bubbles, and the bubbles eventually create cells, which are just basically organic looking uh, circles of, of different colors of the paint. So some colors rise to the top and they'll have a border of a different color around them in the shape of a, a, un, a natural looking circle, not a hard circle. So yeah, so the bubbles are always good. So I'm gonna create some suction here. My favorite part, one, two, three. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Well, that's an interesting mix of colors. I got bubbles showing up here. Look at that, ooh, I really like this. I wish it was on a bigger canvas. That's okay. All right, so this is optional, but um, I'm gonna pull out my torch. I see some bubbles here I wouldn't mind popping. You do not have to, absolutely do not have to but sometimes if you do, look at that. It really changes things up. So the bubbles pop that are on top and the colors of paint that are underneath come through. And I love that. I love that effect. So also you can see that um, the paint is, doesn't necessarily just cover the whole canvas. I'm going to have to manipulate it a little bit and that manipulation is called tilting, which is what I'm about to do. I'm just gonna move the paint around the canvas using gravity. One thing that I've learned is to try and take this slow. I'm not always successful with that, but the tilting can get you, uh, can get me in trouble because I might lose some really cool effects that came, um, that showed up initially. bring this in just a little closer so you guys can see what's going on. There's a lot of lacing, this is called, on the, the bottom where my thumb is. And also what I found with the tilting is um, sometimes if I over tilt, I sort of end up with this jaggedy looking design that some people might like, but I'm just not crazy about it. So <clears throat> I try to try to control myself, don't tilt too much. All right, there we have it. So really all I would do next is maybe go around and check my, check my edges, make sure I'm fully covered. I can see as, is you, as per usual, the corners sometimes need a little attention. So you might just scoop some paint from your drip pan and put it on those um, empty spots on your canvas. Super easy. And so this will continue to drip and possibly continue to move or shift depending on how level this thing stayed for me but as it sits right now I love these results I am not able to bring it in for a close-up so I'm gonna try and bring the bring the canvas closer to the camera so you can get a little better look here it's probably dripping all over the place but this is so cool look at that blue sneaking up in the background and the red sort of turned a little pinkish. A pretty pink. There's some cool um, teal in there somehow. So mixing um, just your basic primary colors, you can really get some cool results. So, okay, I think that that is 
all I wanted to show you today. I'm gonna let this guy dry and hopefully I can keep my hands off of it, not trying to change anything there. But um, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you guys like this and um, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.